Wait a second, wait a second. Where's the bass player at? So I can look at him angrily. There's nothing worse than fighting a guitar more than you need to, right? Um, common situation we get in the shop is that a guitar that otherwise looks set up uh, where, where it should be, the neck is where it should be, and you're still having these issues, the only option you really have, other than raising the action, usually higher than you want to, is to level the frets out. Um, and here we have a plec machine that allows to level the least amount of frets possible, perfectly crowning the fret, and overcoming that situation. There are other variables that could be going on with like um, too low of frets uh, or fingerboard anomalies that would cause you to actually have to refret the guitar, replane the fingerboard. Um, one more thing this guitar doesn't have going for it is it's a vintage radius, which means, for people who don't know, the curvature of the fingerboard is not that flat, it's tighter, and so the setups have kind of, there's limitations to the setups um, as far as how low you can go and clear those frets when you bend, but the plec allows us to push that uh, another half 64 to full 64 at the normal, which is a big difference on guitar. So uh, let's take a look at the scan to see what's going on. So here's the scan of the guitar on the G string. Uh, you can see that the neck looks pretty good, really. Um, and even the frets right there look fine. There's a little bit of wear here, but this is killing all of that good stuff. Uh, it's just making it buzzy everywhere and not allowing you to bend. And you can see the fingerboard is actually raising up, so that's why the frets are doing that. Before I do anything with this guitar, I'm gonna check the neck pocket, make sure there's not a shim or it's just not seated in there right. Um, sometimes you can try to tighten the neck and push this down, but if we look at the other strings here, see the, the low E string, it's already starting to back bow a little bit in the middle, and so um, I've gone through this dress already and look to see what's gonna be happening with it after um, a dress. And the fret height there in the middle of that neck is gonna be 36 thousandths, so if I tightened it, that would lower the fret height here. Um, and I'd rather have lower fret on the last few frets. Most of the guitar is still, you know, the upper end, 35 thousandths, in the middle of the guitar, 40 thousandths. So that's a good fret height. Um, let's pluck it and fix this baby up. Alright, so everything came out great. The neck pocket was actually, there was nothing going on in there. It's just a case of good old fenderitis, which we were able to solve. Um, strings look good going through. So uh, let's see if it worked. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Bending and ringing. No more need to get mad at your amp or your bass player. No more fighting your guitar. This guitar is set up at 364, by the way, on the high E string. So it was a seven and a half inches, almost eight at the last fret. So it was able to push it pretty well. Um, at this point, the frets get buffed out like new. The guitar gets thoroughly gone through, so it's rock solid. And we'd love to help you out if you have any fretting issues, choking out. Um, if you're in downtown Salt Lake City, bring it by anytime we're open. You can book a scan, crossroadsguitarshop.com. Uh, also, we play guitars for people all across the country, and there's a shipping form you can fill out for an estimate. We'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching.